taking myself for a sup because we're only going to be here for a little while longer before we head back to Oz and um, the kids are off with someone else and it's beautiful and calm so I'm actually going to take my mask and snorkel out with me and go for a little snorkel on our beautiful reef because I don't know if you know this but we live in one of the most spectacular places in the world and world-class scuba diving snorkeling reef right off our jetty so I'm gonna take the paddleboard out I'm gonna take Jace's because I'm wearing green so I'll match his board better today and take his board out and go for a little paddle and then jump in the water see what I can find From watching our videos, you'll probably know by now how much is involved in living an island life. Just keeping up with food supplies, island maintenance, building our new home, sneaking in ocean adventures, having two very energetic toddlers, making videos and preparing to travel to Australia soon. We really couldn't achieve any of this without the help of Jill and Grant. Not to mention their involvement in Arlo and Ophelia's lives is incredibly wholesome. They say it takes a village to raise a family, and it does. We say it also takes a village to run an island. We are super grateful to have Tofa and his family living with us during this lockdown, as the children have instantly formed such beautiful friendships, and having these kids around just makes everything feel a little bit easier. Uh -oh. I think you're singing there, Joe. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, so last week, Walter and I were all in the bush for like six hours, struggling to find market. Today, we've rocked up in this other place and it's like literally the path is lined with pineapples. Like, <laughs> this is an absolutely insane garden by comparison. So this is me, a lot easier. These guys really don't sell a great deal. Um, they only really ever sell to us. So yeah, there's a lot less pressure on these gardens here. It's just incredible. It's everything. It's taro, sugarcane, cassava, chilies, capsicums. We got peanuts plant, eggplants, tomatoes. Plantain bananas, sweet bananas. Wow, that's a pretty good haul. Cabbage up front. Now we're gonna load some timber because we have this timber consignment that we cut before COVID and we've just been um, not able really to get up here and get it. <laughs> Didn't wanna waste any fuel. All right, sorry, no dramatic timber carrying B-roll, but that was crazy. The tide's dropping, so we gotta get out of here. Hopefully we get over this log. I think Lonara said, name deep, human. at all does it so at the moment we're really quite short on petrol so we're just being super conservative so we come all this way past the timber pickup site to get the veggies so we just had to make use of that fuel and um, we didn't pick up a great deal we could have loaded more but better to get this and get out than be here for the next 12 hours or 24 hours with our tides ah. where are we gonna go we're going to get some salad. Get some. Did you and Nanny come and get some salad ready this morning? Yeah. No. So part of what makes it tricky living on an island like this is that there's very little convenience food and you can't just go and buy anything. So we have access to amazing produce, but it's just a lot harder to come by. Like even now, like you have to physically go to the garden, harvest it. You meant to harvest at the right time, otherwise it's all wilted and everything like that. And just takes a little longer to prepare stuff. Very rarely is there something just sitting in the fridge that we can use, is there? But what are we making today? We're making pancakes. Savory pancakes and what are we picking now? Salad? Salad. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. And I have strawberry bites in my tummy. You've what? What'd you say? Many brains in my tummy. You're gonna eat so many brains in your tummy. Brain food? Oh, good girl. Okay, let's do it. Definitely the wrong time to be harvesting this for there. But we'll go put it in some water, hey? Hungry for the road all my life. Thirsty for adventure all my youth. Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue. 
Chili report. Pretty good big I'm happy. Okay. 